Yo, so we come up on a new type of style. Well, it's not really new. It's been around for a minute. It's just coming to forefront as of right now. And what I'm talking about is the old money aesthetic. Now, no, you do not have to be old in order to pull this look off. And no, you are not trying to be flashy out there in the open and trying to show off that you have money. This style is actually the complete opposite. It's more on that calmer approach when it comes to like your style. It's meant for you to actually have a mature, casual, laid back aesthetic and actually show that you have money without trying to present that you have money so let's drop some of these pointers and show how you can actually pull off this old money aesthetic all right now first thing first we are talking about your color interest you should stay in the neutral side of things so i'm talking about your black gray navy khaki white gray most colors like these are more so considered a laid back casual type of approach so this will be perfect for you when you start off with that old money aesthetic using the neutral palette you have multiple ways that you can style up a number of pieces and with the number of different colors that you have in the neutral palette you could pull off a number of different outfits so this would be perfect for those who are more so already in the minimalist type of style and that casual laid back type of style this is perfect for you now when you're going for this old money aesthetic it's not only about the clothing pieces that you pick. This is also big about grooming as well. So that leads me to my sponsors of today and that is Insanely Clean. Now Insanely Clean is a skincare product that's used for those that's trying to get their skincare journey back on track. And this is great, especially for men. This is something that's very simple to use. Only thing you need is two products. You have your night and day face wash and you have your moisturizing mist. This is perfect for you if you are somebody that's on the go. And even if you're not, you can still use this in one, two steps and you are good to go. Not only does this feel good and you actually get a clean presentation when you are done with this, you actually get to see the improvements of your skin. You get to smell good with these two products. And on top of that, this is also dermatologist tested, is vegan, cruelty free, and toxin free. So this is perfect for all types of skin. If you are looking to get back on your skincare journey, this is the perfect product for you. Now, if you're somebody that's really into sneakers like I am, your best bet is to stay in the all white category. Do not go with the loud colors. You want to make sure that you have some calm sneakers. Stay on the casual side of things. Air Force Ones, all white on white Stan Smiths, things like that that's really simple and straightforward. You don't want to have too much that's standing out there in the open because this style is not meant for you to stand out. It's more so meant for you to lay back. Next up is blazers and button down. Now this is the perfect time for you to find pieces like that because they're gonna be seen in just about any store as of right now because it's a trendy thing that's going on right now. Polos, button down, blazers, you can find these in just about any store. So this is gonna be a perfect time for you to even explore stepping into casual pieces. So if you're not into casual pieces right now, get them a try. It's worth at least trying out to see what you like about this style and if it's for you or not. Now if you decide to choose something like a blazer, this will be perfect for you to actually grab them with some denim jeans. This is a more trendy style when it comes to that old money aesthetic. Having light denim jeans with a black blazer will be perfect and you match that with a tee will be perfect for your type of style. It shows that you're more so relaxed and it's calm and it's more of an approachable style. Now for the size and fitting, this is not a big type of style. So it's not meant for you to go super baggy, but it's not meant for you to be super skinny and wear super skinny tight jeans and things like that. It's more so to be on the fitted side. So a slim, slender, look even if you are a bigger individual you could still pull this look off by having like straight leg pants you don't have to wear anything that's more so skinny jeans or anything that's super big like baggy pants like I said you want to more so have a fitted type of approach so as long as you have that fitted look you'll be right on point for the fit and size next up is more of a cheat code you want to incorporate tennis style so what I mean by that is things like sweater vests matching them up with the perfect tees you want to have that look of wearing something that you can maneuver in but at the same time something that's classy and clean that you could sit down and lounge around in at the same time so having things like a short sleeve button down a polo or a sweater vest will be right on point and one of the most important that's going on right now and one of the most trendiest is having a sweater knitted shirt now when it comes to style my favorite part of styling is the accessories and what you need when it comes to the old money aesthetic is something that's more so on the laid backs type of style so this means that it does not need to be in your face so no 
no bust down watches, no thick Cuban chains, no big earrings is needed, no four finger rings. You don't need multiple chains, multiple rings. The idea is to be more so on a relaxed side and not stand out. So the accessories that you can use if you want to wear rings, go with one ring, go with one bracelet, go with one beaded bracelet, go with one chain. And if you are wearing a chain, it needs to be simple and thin. Nothing that's too big and stands out too big. If you decide to wear earrings, nothing that's too huge and in your face. Have something that's more so relaxed and chill. Smaller studs, smaller hoops. These are gonna be perfect type of accessories that you need when you add this old money aesthetic. Now, before we head out, I wanna just drop some gems for you real quick. Piece that you should really have when it comes to make sure that you have this old money aesthetic. So let's just drop it off ready right now. First thing first is a wool coat. As long as you have one that's ready for the season, having a wool coat will be perfect for you. Just make sure when you get that wool coat that it is a fitted wool coat. Next up is blazers. For blazers, you want to go a little bit bigger. You want to have that more of a relaxed approach, but at the same time, this goes perfect with denim. This type of style will be perfect to match with a black blazer, a white t-shirt, and some light blue denim jeans. Next up is for the sneaker heads. Like I said, that all white on white sneakers will be perfect for you. So if you have like your Lacoste sneakers or you have your Adidas or all white on white Air Force Ones, it's up to you. Just make sure that they are casual sneakers and they are all white on white minimalist sneakers. Next up is to have like an everyday handbag and this goes perfect with that old money aesthetic. So as of right now, having a tote will be the perfect type of thing that you should have. Or if you wanted something that was a bigger crossbody bag or you wanted something that was more of a messenger bag, this will be perfect for you to have. Just make sure it's in the color of either black, brown, or beige. And lastly is the polo shirt. This is the part that stands out for a lot of that old money aesthetic. Get something that's fitted to you and make sure that you pair them with any type of khakis, trousers, or chinos and you'll be on point for your style. All right, y'all, now I just dropped some gems for y'all when it comes to having this old money aesthetic. Of course, this is a trendy thing that's moving right now, but like I said, this has been moving around for a long time time this has been going back years and years ago so if this is something you're willing to try go ahead give it a shot let me know what you think about it or if you are doing this right now let me know how you like the type of style is it something that made you feel more stylish just drop that comment down below and let me know what's up now with that being said i'm gonna get up out of here i'm your homeboy camp quarter banks y'all already know how this go man i'm gonna catch up with y'all next time i'm out i'm gone i'll holla at y'all peace